Good evening, I'm Gabby Gonzalez. Thanks for joining us tonight. Kevin has the night off. A major Mishawaka road was shut down and hundreds were without power this afternoon because of slick roads. Right before one this afternoon, a Toyota 4Runner crashed into a pole at the corner of Grape Road and Imus Drive. The impact caused the pole with an attached transformer to snap and sent the SUV into a nearby yard. For safety reasons, Grape Road between Catalpa and McKinley was shut down for nearly five hours. The large power outage included the Runaway Bay apartment complex and a handful of stoplights along Grape. Mishawaka Utilities cut power to the lines before crews turn their focus to resetting the 25-foot-tall wooden pole. The driver of the SUV managed to escape with very minor injuries. No word if police cited him for his role in the crash. Meantime, up in Michigan, six people were taken to the hospital yesterday after a head-on crash in Cass County. The accident happened just before 3 o'clock on M51 near Swamp Street. That's in Wayne Township. 49-year-old Roger Kursky of Niles told police he was heading south on the highway when he fell asleep at the wheel. His car ran off the side of the road, crossed the center line, and then hit another vehicle head-on. The impact caused Kursky's car to roll over and one of his three passengers 36-year-old Donna McCabe to be thrown from the vehicle. Both Kursky and the other driver, 37-year-old Michelle Rosamorowski of South Bend, had to be cut free from the wreckage. All six people were taken to area hospitals to be treated for their injuries. South of that scene, icy roads led to a rollover crash last night that sent two Goshen teens to the hospital. The accident happened around 10 o'clock on County Road 21, just south of County Road 44, that's west of New Paris. 19-year-old Hattie Lamert and her boyfriend, 19-year-old Brett Ralston, were heading north on County Road 21 when their pickup hit a patch of ice. The truck veered off the east side of the road into a ditch before rolling over onto its top. Both teens were taken to the hospital with back and neck injuries. The couple was also cited for not wearing their seatbelts. Now let's head over to Mike Hoffman in the weather lab for a look, a look at what you can expect as you gear up for the work week. Mike. Thanks, Gabby. We ended up dry today after yesterday's snow, and you can see if you're going to be heading out this evening, no problems here. 16 Doppler Max showing those nice dry conditions continuing all across Michiana with uh, no lake effect or uh, no snow of any kind uh, coming in. My evening planner then, you can see 22 degrees with partly cloudy skies uh, for this evening. And as we head through the rest of the evening, partly cloudy conditions will continue. Temperatures are going to level off around 20 degrees and may actually come up a few degrees by the time you head outdoors tomorrow morning. We'll have your forecast as we head toward the first of the year coming up. Thanks, Mike. Well, after Michiana finally got a good coating of snow, skiers and snowboarders can finally hit the hills at Swiss Valley. Up until now, the Jones Michigan Resort had been closed because of the unusually warm and dry weather we've seen this winter. New Center 16's Barbara Harrington joins us live there now. So, Barbara, it's the first day of the season. Lots of people have been waiting for this. What kind of turnout has there been on the slopes? More than a thousand people. All right, a lot of fun out there. Thanks so much. Barbara Harrington reporting live for us tonight. South Bend detectives also have an armed robbery on their hands. Around 3 this morning, police say an 18-year-old student was walking in the 2400 block of Prass Boulevard when a suspicious-looking white Ford vehicle drove by. The team turned toward a friend's home, but the Ford made a U-turn and two men inside pulled out handguns. The driver got out of the car and told the team to, quote, drop his backpack and empty his pockets. The armed men got off with cash, keys, and the team's backpack with schoolwork and an Xbox gaming system inside. An Allegiant Air flight from South Bend headed to southwest Florida has finally arrived after a terrible scare midair on Friday. The pilot was forced to make an emergency landing after a light came on indicating there could be a fire in the cargo area. With the clock ticking down to the end of the year deadline, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid says there has been a major setback in negotiations to avoid the so-called fiscal cliff. At 11. Good evening, I'm Gabby Gonzalez. Thanks for staying up with us after the game. Here are tonight's top stories. 